Now comes this day. We're taking it out. I didn't take this out a long time ago when I first got this boat because they've 5,200 them down in there, but whatever. I'll try to get it out the best I can. And you know, if it pops up the gel coat, well, we'll do some gel coat repair. Um, it's just the way it is. One day when I'm done with everything, we're gonna gel coat the whole inside of this boat, make it nice, I'll make it all match, all one. So for now, we're just gonna make it functional. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, got a couple tools over here. Let's see how lucky we get with this. I'm gonna pull the screws out and we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Okay, this is where we need the lock. That wasn't bad. I was thinking I'd be here for a while, chipping up gel coat. I just got a little cleanup to do down there. We'll clean that up, get this out of the way. Uh, we're gonna have to drill those holes out to fill them. You can't just fill those holes. You, you gotta drill them out. Uh, and we'll drill them out with a reamer and then we'll fill them up uh, with some rosin and then a little gel coat over top, seal it. And we'll get our new base mounted in there. And this is, this is gonna be so nice. I'm excited about this. All right, let's keep going at it. Wow, we. Look at the room. If I was younger, man, I'd just leave that out and stand all the time. Ooh, you, oh, oh my, oh my. There's the old rocket launcher. It doesn't look that big, but well, you can see where it was. And it, you know, looking at the footprint on the floor, it gives you a better feel for, for how much room that actually took up. It, was, it just wasn't cutting it. So, okay, we got these holes here now. Let me get a little close up on these. And what I gotta do, I'm gonna drill these out with a reamer bit, because otherwise they just won't take the fill. And then we'll ream them out and we'll make a fiberglass filler. We'll thicken it with, uh, with uh, fibers for the strength and, uh, and a little bit of a other thickener so it doesn't just run out into the boat. Um, fibers make the strength and the silica will make it stay together. Um, let's drill them out, get them filled, and we'll get our base screwed down in here. Oh, this is a happy day for me. This is a great day. Oh, we're gonna have so much more room. And we need it. We need it, we got a smaller boat, we need the room. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, we gotta fill these holes in our deck where the old rocket launcher used to be. And you just can't fill them right there. It won't fill good, it won't take the glass good, it won't paint the edges, so we gotta make clean edges. I got this reamer bit right here, and that's gonna, uh, that's gonna make it nice. It's gonna clean out them holes. clean out the holes anyways, right? You've got holes to patch anyways. You might as well, the little bigger hole is actually easier to deal with. And it'll take the glass the way you want it to. Okay. 
So now you can see we got we got these reamed out. We can fill them with the, with the thickened rosin, and uh, now we got enough to stay. And then you know, not, not fill them all the way to tippy tippy top. You know, we're gonna leave a little bit of space because then when that dries, we're gonna just put some gel coat on top just to seal it. Gel coat will seal the water out. Gel, the rosin itself, unless you add wax to it, is it'll, it'll absorb moisture. So we don't want that. Okay, so uh, there we go. Let's uh, clean them out a little more. We're gonna mix up some rosin, thicken it up, and we're gonna fill those. And then we're gonna get our new seat base, seat base mounted in here. But uh, hey, right now we're filling holes. Okay, we got our thickened mixture here. This is uh, glass fibers mixing it, but they can't just use the fibers because they won't hold the rosin. It, it'll leak out and leak through and then I'll just have more holes there. Um, so I add a little silica with it and that keeps it thicker. It gives it that peanut butter consistency, but I only put a little bit because I do want it to run down into the holes and soak into the into the product there into the wood so we just mixed a little teeny bit this doesn't take much obviously we're just going to drizzle this down in these holes Another job complete. Well, I'm real pleased this came out great. We got our fold up footrest on there. That's a Gerlach footrest, as it would be. And seeing how I got a Gerlach seat, just stands to reason I should have a match. The base is all secured in place. We cut aluminum bars, drilled them, screwed them, siliconed underneath. Nothing's going to go bad there. All the old holes are filled in the floor where the old rocket launcher was. Don't have to worry about any water intrusion into my floor. Swivel on the seat. We got a fighting gimbal. That's right, we're going after some big fish now. We can do it. There's the seat rocking up. Under seat storage. And if you look at it now, we got some room. I can walk right past there and not get knocked out of the boat on a rough day when the boat's rocking back and forth. All right, it was a great build. Thanks for joining me.